गुड मॉर्निंग नमस्ते शमला दीदी जी नमस्ते सुनील जी सभी को नमस्ते गुड मॉर्निंग वेलकम टू द मॉर्निंग सेशन जी वी कैन स्टार्ट आवर शेयरिंग्स जी नमस्ते सो टुडे वी हैव शेयरिंग ऑफ इसरत दीदी इसरत डॉक्टर इसरत मीरा मिर्साना नमस्ते दीदी नमस्ते सुनील भाई नमस्ते शर्मिला दीदी इसरत दीदी इज अ प्रोफेसर इन मैकेनिकल इंजीनियरिंग एंड research and development coordination mufakkahim cha college of engineering and technology hyderabad telangana she completed her uhp 1 introductory workshop in march 2022 and associated with uhp volunteering from april 2022 she is part of the pp activity and attend weekly meetings monthly meetings and morning meetings very regularly she can contribute in possible roles in the weekly meetings and monthly meetings so she asks several questions which are helpful to all of us also so she is going to share her experience in the morning sessions today is a didi please look at the indicators and uh, confine your sharing within time didi over to you thank you thank you sunil bhaiya uh, namaste sabhi ko Uh, as mentioned by sunil bhai i am a professor in mechanical engineering uh, my husband is working as a us staff recruiter and he works in the night shift i am having smart kids who teach me every day new things for survival my daughter is aged 12 years afra and my son is ayan is aged 10 years i have a mother in law who shuttles between us and india as she lost my father, father in law in covid second wave i have two supportive elder sisters and their families who are always supportive to me and they also take care of my dad my inspiration and driving force in my life is my mother my family also consists of my college staff where i have been working since 22 years i consider that as also as my part of family because i graduated and post graduated from the same college and my management has been supportive to me through my thick and thin times so that's the reason they are also a part of my family coming to the sharing with respect to my experiences with ex- exercise 1 and exercise 2 let me start with exercise 1 the step one is about observing the self by self so with respect to this before uh, talking about uh, my experience or exposure with uh, morning session uh, let me tell you how i was before as i was very close to my mom to fulfill the gap i used to talk to my bright shining star assuming it to be my mom because my sanskar with my childhood assumptions was that the person who dies will become a star so we have that uh, like whatever said in the childhood we try to uh, have that preconditioning so that's the reason though it was an interaction of the self by self there there was an assumption persisting uh, within me before undergoing the uhv so i used to interact or whatever uh, thought process was there i used to talk within myself but never realized that it was the self that i am interacting with after my uhv one and with the volunteering with uhv and morning sessions i could shift my myself from the preconditioning to natural acceptance of observing the self by self and as i started observing self by self my exploration started about self evaluation i could understand my feelings state of my feelings decide the feelings and the basis of this decision before attending the uhv one i used to be bothered about keeping my family happy and do things beyond the capacity of my physical body and thereby did not nurture my body at all due to which my health condition has also deteriorated to the maximum i did not realize myself and its feeling 
until I became a part of UHV or UHV became a part of my life. Now I interact with self, understood that if I am in harmony, I can understand my feelings, thoughts that decide my state of feeling. As it is me who is the seer, doer and enjoyer. I did my UHV one only and thought that being associated with UHV is more important than exploring the next levels of UHV program. I was thinking I am at harmony, understood my interaction of self with self. But as I proceeded with morning sessions, I could realize that I lacked that right understanding. And I disc and uh, this I could make it out though I was interacting, asking queries in the morning session. I was thinking I'm understanding and I have very good clarity of thoughts. That is also a preconditioning that was persisting with me. And I, when one of the sessions, I discussed about my habit of power nap. As I get tired, because I had the assumption that I am getting tired because of managing my home, work, and kids. But when I discussed the same query with Sharmila Didi, I got to understand that it is the effect is on the body. It is not the effect on the body. But it is the because of multiple thoughts occurring simultaneously within myself and not having clarity of thoughts within self. I'm feeling that my instrument body was responsible for this. But after getting this clarity, I started observing once again my exercise of self by self. And I realized how to have clarity of thoughts. And my new journey once again began for self-evaluation. And thereby I could overcome this habit of uh, power naps because the clarity of thoughts, if I'm having it, there will not be a strain on my mind. And thereby the requirement of this is not required. Still, I need to evolve myself as and when it comes to my kids. I shift to attachment feeling rather than affection and thereby I sometimes react rather than respond. So the process of UH, uh, exercise one about self-evaluation, I'm still exploring. I need to uh, learn a lot of things. I need to explore myself much more. Uh, so coming to the exercise two, observing the self and body by the self. I could observe this and distinguish between the self and body. I could understand that the self is the center of all my actions and activities, whereas the body is only an instrument. Coming to the step two, observing the interaction between the self and the body by the self. For this one, I would like to discuss with this example. I could understand this because I have understood that fear is a thought by the self. And accordingly, there is physical chemical changes occur within the body that disturbs the harmony within myself. And this thought of fear, the terminology or this feeling, which persisted within me for a long time, with the preconditioning that I could not travel alone without my family. I could overcome this fear when I went alone for the Pune volunteers meeting. And I could practically execute the step. That is, first thing is I made my mind that it's the body, it's the self who has to decide what feeling I should carry over with myself. And when I have boarded the flight, when it took off, I was having the fear and I was getting that wanting sensation. Then I started interacting with myself, saying that it's just that you are having the variation in the gravity. And I need not have that fear within myself. And with this one, I could control the changes that could were about to occur in my body. So with the interaction of self, 
I could have the control over the body and also over my thoughts and feelings. So coming to the step three, as from the previous example, I could clearly make it out that it is the self who is the decision maker. So in this journey, it's not just about uh, exploring, but there are many more activities in day-to-day -day life, which we, as we go on, our day starts with our imagination. First, we start with what to cook and how to do that. So it's the interaction of self and what we are doing. It's the body which helps us as an instrument for the execution of the thoughts. And coming to the step four, observing the distance between the self and the body by the self. So this is, I could say that, uh, again, I'll take the example of my Pune meeting. Uh, though I was uh, having, uh, I almost uh, stopped sitting down, neither uh, because I have knee pains. I used to think like I cannot climb stairs. This were the pre-assumptions uh, within me by the self with respect to my body. But when I was in Pune uh, for the meeting, I used to climb all the three floors for my stay, two floors for my food, one floor for my uh, uh, seminar discussion. And never I felt that I was having any strain on my body. Because within self, I had the sensation that I was feeling happy. So it's the, the though the body is getting strain, within the self, if we are happy, the pain will be different. So the body and the sensation, there's a difference. I'm not a part of that uh, pain or sensation, but there's a distance between them. Because when I return, I have realized that the same person once again is facing the problem. Whenever I walk, I have a sw a swollen feet always. So then I analyzed that how to uh, control my body sensations with myself. But there is a distance between the two. And then coming to the interaction of self with the body and the world outside, the next step. With respect to it, uh, as I said, my biggest uh, other uh, activities or feelings I could cover, but fear is the one which always persisted with me. And one of the things is I fear the existence of lizard in my home. But when I was in uh, Pune, when I have seen a lizard in the room, along with me, Usha Didi was sharing the room. So I understood that if I react now, if I start shouting, because usually even in my workplace, if I see a lizard, I have troubled my uh, uh, non-teaching staff to vacate the room for almost two hours to find a small lizard. And... and uh, at home also, I used to say to my husband, if the lizard is there, I'm going to my sister's place. So that's how I used to go until it is uh, sent out. I never used to come. So that was the silly, I could say that, that was the behavior I was giving with respect to the outside circumstance. But when the same incident occurred with me in Pune, I understood that if I react now, instead of responding, then it will disturb the person who is with me. And it's only that it is uh, staying at some place. If it fall, it is blessed to be on the wall. It will not fall. And it is the feeling that I have to control within self so that my body will not react. So this interaction helped me to overcome this, the fear of seeing a lizard. So unfortunately, my husband is unhappy with this because at least he used to get some opportunity to be away with me. But now I don't have a fear. I don't give him the uh, 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 excuse saying that I'm going 
away because lizard is there. So interaction of self with the body and the conditions outside helped me to understand much more better. And at the same time, though I work with the different people in the college also and also during my volunteering, I could understand how to organize myself and thereby have clarity of thoughts and this is how it is not straining my body. Coming to the observing my response or reaction to the external events and body, the next step. With respect to the events, my response, before when I used to wake up my kids, I used to be doing my kitchen work and used to shout. But then I realized it's not the, the way I have to react, but I should have a response. And nowadays, I don't shout or make them wake up, but I hug them in the morning or kiss them and ask them to wake up. And thereby, I could see there is a difference in the uh, way the kids wake up and do their course. Coming in the way the behavior was different earlier. So it was the problem was within myself, how I was organizing within myself. So that's how by changing my response with, to the external events and within my body, I could have the clarity of thoughts. And this helped me even at my workplace. Thereby, I could do my task with ease. That's the reason my even my <coughs> colleagues could make it out. And some of them, instead of like uh, when we talk in a greet, we'd say aslam alaikum. But nowadays, they add up aslam alaikum didi because they know that I'm a part of UHV family and I usually have utilize that words didi bhaiya. So that's how they are reacting to my uh, way of working. And they could, they say that they could make out the difference. And that's the reason whenever I do the volunteering, I keep my system sound uh, to the maximum volume, not, not to as a disturbance, but be, uh, the colleagues who share my staff room or beside my staff room also enjoy listening to UHV. Because I believe in the thing that uh, I should make them understand the importance rather than ask them to do the UHV. So they are in the process and some of my colleagues have also done UHV. And this uh, observing of my response, my interaction with the students have changed. That is the reason most of the batches, though I don't guide their project work, come to me, sit with me, discuss with me. And this also helped me because I started observing the people around me when there are issues at the personal friend with my students also. I could interact with them because it's not about helping them, but it was helping myself. So that's the reason I could solve some of the problems of the students at the personal friend and the families which could have been broken uh, though I'm talking about my ME students but they are continuing their relationship so I'm happy about it because this UHV has helped me to not only help myself but helped others through me as a cha channel so coming to the observing uh, step seven, observing my being in space, I could say that uh, there is a telepathy with my sisters. Whenever there's something, I don't convey it to them. I don't talk to them, but they could sense that. So they are better than me in understanding these concepts, though they did not have the exposure to UHV. Or I could say that we are a part of the space and the information exchange between the self and self occurs. This I have observed in many incidents. Though it was not conveyed to them, it is understood by them. And 
another thing this step observing my being in space one thing as i said as i am in the process i have not explored myself neither i have reached the full level of na natural acceptance i could make it out clearly that whenever it comes to my kids i am having this i am not able to execute whatever concepts of you of exercises are there because uh, one could make it out from my face whenever my kids exams are there that my kids exams are there because that is shown on in my face as an expression because i get tensed though my kids make me sit with them they tell me that it's just an exam don't be bothered we know that you are more tensed when it comes to studies but still i need to explore myself understand this have this clarity because i have that uh, expectation but from the expectation level it is going to the desire level so i have to reform myself so i could say that coming to how many steps i am able to clear please see within myself i could say that maybe i have not even reached 30% or 40% of all the steps that i have achieved i am still in the process of exploration i need further uh, myself channelized because right now i am doing uhv2 so that's the reason i am having much more clarity and i think that it's the continuous exposure it's not just about volunteering but the volunteering helps me understand the perspective of each and every concept because i could see one slide but beyond that slide there are many more things there are many more channels which need to be understood so this is how that's a reason though i have been associated i know the content uh, it was asked to give a demo session i have not dared to do that because i am not content within myself that i know the content very well i know the content but with my innate nature i am not able to have that confidence that i can do the demo de demonstration better way because i am still exploring and there is many more things i need to learn actually with this natural characteristic i am able to explore that happiness is my innate nature and it is not affected from outside and this i could clearly see because now i am not bothered about what the other thinks about me at the same time i maintain my mutual relationship with each and every one and try to have mutual fulfillment but that doesn't mean that i'll be feeling bad if somebody says bad about me or does not give the same response to me because it is me who have to have that innate nature and i'm happy about what i am and uh, the i'm able to understand the various sensations and for this one i'll keep myself engaged with uhv as long as possible and thereby will be focusing not just about self but it gave me a path to understand about my body so i will be able to work upon my health too because recently when there was a complete strain with respect to the nac work the complete core committee got affected and i was the only one in the team who could recover within two days because i could control my body health with my self understanding so that's the reason uhv is a part of me and i'm still learning many more things for this right understanding and feeling i am always devoting my time at least in half an hour every day for doing this exercise i observe myself what are the things i have done in the day, daily life routine is it that i had the right understanding and feeling i note down my things and if i feel 
with in my workplace or with my kids also or with my family if i have done any mistake i just message them immediately or next day go personally say sorry to them because i would like to have this feeling of relationship with everyone and coming to my social responsibilities um, with respect to uhv i'm ready to devote my two hours at least per day and in this process i wanted to be associated with various activities and volunteering work of uhv and i would like to spread about uhv awareness in my telangana region as much as possible and for this one through my contacts i have been asking my friends to also register for this uhv workshop so i am working upon that i just suggest it i propose to them and i keep proposing till i get that outcome this is about my commitment with respect to my uhv this is my journey and it just began and it will go on that's about my uh, reflection and sharing with respect to the uh, uhv morning sessions thank you thank you all for your patience listening to my response thank you thank you didi nice sharing i can see the commitment in you the volunteering part so immediately after your first workshop you started the volunteering and that is helping the uh, the weekly meetings very much and monthly meeting and you are into i'm sure you are going to be into the demo presentations and uh, in the process of becoming air source person too yeah thank so you. thank you bhaiya <laughs> yeah so um, now yeah uh, you can ask specific questions if you have any uh, but your appreciation part can be put in the chat box dear voice explorers so we have here with us rubalim didi namaste rubalim didi uh namaste everybody good morning isha didi uh, sunil bhaiya and all of you uh didi uh, it's a kind of observation and a question mixed up uh, and it is related to your previous uh, uh, questions in the morning session that uh, two uh, episodes you uh, related at that time that um, you were tired a little bit today also you referred to them and that you were tired and then you asked your son to just go away and do his homework and when he uh, shut himself inside the room then you started feeling uncomfortable and then you uh, tried to uh, casual him with uh, popcorn and ice cream so this is one uh, yeah so uh, uh, i could relate totally now my children are in college and they are working but totally it took me to uh, my that stage of mine and in the light of uhv what i have seen that uh, what we do is like first we do the damage and then try to <laughs> do damage control and we never allow them to develop their own understanding so at that moment i i would be tired and i would send them away and then uh, this is sensation we are like uh, with uh, some delicacies ice cream popcorn this kind of things we are actually opening ways for uh, them to uh, relate to sensation and favorable feelings from others first we uh, make the damage so uh, instead of that maybe uh, like now i can see and i i am sure you also you have done so much of exploration i can see that we have understood that we could have given that as a proposal i also made all those mistakes so if we could uh, say that uh, i am a bit tired or i have some work meanwhile if you could uh, finish your homework maybe afterwards both of us would be free so uh, you just see so this proposal form this is what we are learning in which we and then maybe we will not resort to that kind of uh, like uh, attracting them with some kind of uh, gifts and uh, like delicacies and the other thing again i can could relate that is your tension regarding their exams so uh, uh, gradually i could see that uh, it is our uh, our own anxiety that marks are everything marks will bring success in life and in front of others like i my children were in my own school so in front of others that 
how would they think that oh teacher student and uh, her children are not scoring well not doing well these are our preconditionings now i can catch properly so we are on the same boat of course mine is past but it's not that uh, even now those things would not happen because they are in adulthood even now there are issues uh, but my approach i am just trying to bring it in alignment with ehv so uh, it just relatable experiences and i'm sure didi uh, like you can say that uh, like yeah, after uh, discussion with sarmila didi you also could see you can uh, tell tell us yes didi thank you yes didi thank you for the input yes i'm trying to propose uh, to my students the, sorry to my kids the various proposals but my uh, son itself he says that i have anger issues because it's like a khandani so I, i got the angry issue with my father so that's the reason i'm behaving like this we sit and discuss what is the issue and he says that i'm having this anger issue because of which i'm behaving like this but as i said he reacts and later on when we sit and discuss he responds but it is taking time and yes with respect to my anxiety regarding exams i'm trying to control that but it is taking time thank you didi for your su- nice uh, suggestions yeah didi uh, he says that he has anger issues or you have anger issues no no problem. he has he has anger issues okay oh my god <laughs> <laughs> he has as it. i said they have much more clarity i said they are smart because they have much <laughs> more clarity of it and they say that don't be bothered about marks because i ne- i don't say that get a uh, 90% marks or i said get 70 to 80% decent marks they say that those are numbers ultimately for achieving in life we should know how to survive and with respect oh to God. it uh, what are the skill sets required life skills are more important than this marks so we have a discussion proposals and okay. they have clarity of things <laughs> so yeah, and we should not underestimate we yes, used to think yes. or we think still that we know everything we should not under, underestimate no, they know i think the we feel pay attention from them yeah 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 <laughs> sure sure we just yeah. have to listen to them and we can see yes. that many of the things they say it is in alignment with uhv but it yes. is our preconditioning that we keep just uh, imposing our own views yes did yeah. thank you yeah. so much we'll be together you, in volunteering yeah. also yes yeah definitely did thank you did yeah thank you rupal didi for this uh, interaction and discussion with isra didi yeah isra didi um, yes in fact yeah yeah before i go into my question there is a uh, uh, sridhar didi with us so sridhar didi namaste namaste sunil bhaiya ji very good morning isra didi namaste sridhar didi very very good sharing and uh, Uh, a very fast uh, uh, what you call development on the exploration side i'm very uh, what you call impressed by the progress and uh, thank you in the other weekly meeting we were discussing about uh, karnataka <coughs> chapter or karnataka group I think uh, sharad bhaiya has formed a whatsapp group would you like Gee. to join that uh, group because uh, as as i understand from your sharing you are very busy with your uh, um, household chores and the official work and also uhv i understand how to how uh, what you call uh, how you cannot take the time away from working in this group will you be able to volunteer didi uh, actually we have also formed a telangana group and uh, we are, are working not on Bangalore. that you are not from bangalore no no i am from hyderabad okay, okay, okay. so we I are working on that <laughs> yeah okay. i'm we are working on that uh, along with me uh, geeta potra jyoti is there and also mm-hmm. sharmila didi we have a team and incidentally are, my like, mother tongue is telugu okay uh, i lost touch with my mother tongue and uh, my this thing is uh, present this thing is kannada writing i don't know kannada this is where i am uh, stuck okay, <laughs> okay. <laughs> so anyway i will be in touch with you I'll yeah definitely definitely i take guidance yeah. from everyone thank yes, you didi thank you. thank you 
जी थैंक यू सुंदर दीदी फॉर द इंटरेक्शन नाउ इफ एनी अदर क्वेश्चन पर वुड लाइक टू शेयर एंड आस्क क्वेश्चंस टू दीदी यू कैन रेज योर हैंड दीदी आई हैव अ क्वेश्चन इन द मीन बाइल यस सर रिगार्डिंग दिस लिसार्ड सीइंग द लिसार्ड ऑन द वॉल राइट बट व्हेन यू केम टू पुणे यू सेड यू हैव ओवरकम दैट फियर बट Yes, uh, I wonder how can you overcome the fear within a very short span of time, and when we are there in Pune. So, how did it happen? Can you just briefly? Uh, yes, yeah. by because uh, at the early morning at three o'clock, uh, usually I wake up uh, for my nature's call. So when I seen that lizard on the wall, that's how I got scared at the moment. But at the same time, because as I said, when I started my journey itself. in the flight i said okay i have overcome my fear so fear is just a thought and feeling so i started interaction within myself at that moment at the midnight saying that it's just a feeling and i the interaction within myself helped me understand that it is also a, something it's the living being which is existing within me in the nature and that's how i could make uh, overcome my fear because uh, from childhood whatever i had that preconditioning i had developed that the, the sanskar i can say that saying that i have to shell out my preconditioning which are not uh, useful for me or which hinder the development of within myself so that's the reason i gave, had the feeling saying that it's just a one more living being and it will not harm me and why should i feel scared of it and if it it will not fall and so i should not trouble by reacting to that because first thing i wanted was i don't want to disturb usha didi that is how my thought process started and then i interacted with self what i should do and how should i respond for the same situation and when i have responded to that situation it give me a clarity of thoughts that okay whatever it is it's one more thing that is staying with me sharing my room maybe i have come in his, into its place so this is how i had a dialogue and thereby i could pacify and thereby now i don't have any fear if i see anywhere any place and i don't uh, react at all so it though it is a within short span i could overcome the fear which was build up within me for years together <laughs> yes i hope that i could nice. answer your yes, query very much very much yes. very much yeah that is nice nice to listen to you that is nice expression also i can even relate to that i yeah uh, i have also this fear of lizard <laughs> <laughs> i can relate yes. to it as a question yeah. yes so we have yeah so we have uh, uh, देवी प्रसन्न जी विद अस नमस्ते देवी प्रसन्न शादी नमस्ते भैया नमस्ते दीदी नमस्ते भैया नमस्ते टू ऑल यूएचबी वॉलंटियर्स आई वांट टू नो फ्रॉम यू दैट हाउ योर सेल्फ रिफ्लेक्शन कुड हेल्प योर हेल्थ कंडीशंस इफ इट इट इज दैट्स ओनली माय क्वेरी यस बिकॉज़ विद द सेल्फ एक्सप्लोरेशन ओनली i am able to understand what are my changes within my, myself and thereby control my health because uh, before uh, anxiety and all these things were there my pulse rate has been reaching to 140 also now after uhv i have brought in a smart watch wherein i monitor my health also and whenever i feel that the stress levels are going up my heart beat is going up i start evaluating why this is happening are there multiple thoughts going on in my mind why am i bothered about many things let me streamline give it time gap between each of the process and with this one the uh, heart rate bmp which was at 130 i could e- easily bring it to 86 and this is how i have been controlling it and as i said like uh, one more thing that was happening is when my stress levels increase my uh, as stress is nothing but it's the reaction with respect to the thought processes 
and with respect to it when there is a disharmony within myself my body will be giving a response with respect to a cough i developed the symptom of cough but now i am able to control all this because i am trying to understand what is self how should i organize myself with the clarity of thoughts and i am giving a time gap with the uh, way i have to manage things no i am not looking forward like i have to please everyone it is me who is important for me so that i can play my role in every way in the best possible way so i have tried to maintain harmony within myself so thereby i am able to manage my health right now i could not say that it's 100% but i am improving thank you thank yes, you very much and thank you really amazing thank you bhai thank you so much devi prasun ji for the question and is a people the response uh jagdish babu bhaiya namaste नमस्ते 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 आई एम ऑडिबल यस 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 सो आई वांटेड टू नो व्हेन योर फर्स्ट एफडीपी Uh, you have taken uh, that is one question and how this uhv proposals uh, is placed to your students and how it is going in the institute where you are working so that is my second question maybe okay uh, i have done uh, my uhv in feb last week and march first week it was a continuation so i got i could say that it's in the march i have completed my uhv1 right now in the current uh, running week i am doing my uhv2 i am in the fourth day today will be my fourth day of uhv2 coming to the proposal to my students um in at my institute we don't have anything as an sip program or a credit course of uhv so i try to give the proposals to my students in my lectures itself so as with the topic i was giving that but later on in one of the queries and discussion i got a clarity saying that rather than proposing them with the topic i should have the continuity of the proposal so that's the reason in my class work itself i started discussing with respect to what everyone is desiring for they are studying but for what purpose it is for the happiness how to achieve this happiness that's how i started giving the proposals to the classes where i teach be it my me class or mba class or my be class right now i am only interacting or proposing uhv within the classes which i am handling only but i am working upon that because i am every time reminding and discussing about the same with my principal also it takes time but i am working upon that thank you bhai very nice didi along with your self exploration you are helping others students also to explore thank you didi best wish thank you bhai thank you jagdish babu ji uh now uh May I request uh, Shamla Didi to place her comments regarding Mr. Didi's sharing. Shamla Didi, Namaste. Over to you. Ji, Namaste, Shruti Ji. Namaste, Didi. Uh, nice to hear your sharing. I think in a short span we've been able to see your commitment to this whole uh, process of exploration and. the work in the society the building of the team um you know your participation in the weekly meetings you are wanting to help with the coordination 
all of that is an expression to me of your commitment to this whole process and although the journey is long and there is a long way to go much to understand i can see that you have that uh, the willingness to explore and the willingness to uh, look at things fresh regardless of the previous uh, preconditionings and as you go you will be able to see um, so much of the preconditioning that is there in our day to day life how much uh, of it comes through in our interactions with others in the way we think in the way we do so many things uh, uh slowly you know i would say the journey has started and uh, all the very best of wishes for you to carry through this journey and also to work at the for the coordination in the state um one thing very uh, nice about uh, what i could see as a strength in you is your positive approach to you know whatever the situation is that you try to look at how you can improve or how you can make things better or what you can do your participation which is a very nice approach and uh, i think that will help a long way there is much to do in the state of telangana we need more and more people who can you know sort of help um bring together more people of course this has to be in conjunction with working on ourselves our own exploration so even before we try to like we keep saying you know you can't make another understand but as we understand more and more and it reflects in our behavior then the others themselves approach you to ask to seek guidance or to seek you know this what you know the question that you know what are you doing that is making your behavior like this or people come and ask you what did you do to improve whatever it may be your anger your you know, health or whatever that they can see as an expression of the understanding that is growing in you so definitely i think it will help with the uhb2 that you are doing now and uh, perhaps in the next sharing we'll be able to hear more from you about the steps and um, you know the exploration within and all the very best to you best wishes thank you didi thank you so much uh, before uh, like conclusion of the session i would like to say that uh, uhv has not just helped me with the self but it gave me a real family also i can say like uh, though i don't have brothers now i can say i have brothers like sharad bhaiya sunil bhaiya tara prasanna bhaiya and parikshit bhaiya so it's uh, though we say it's only bhaiya it's not just to address but uhv teaches us with heart with mutual fulfillment we do get a family wherein we don't meet or we may not be blood related but we definitely are a part of this family thank you didi you have been a great support and uh, you have helped me in many ways thank you so much